Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and today we're reviewing the La Chata um, host store or the uh, clothes hanger host store. Um, and um, yeah, I got this ideal or this concept ideal from Ed Medif Ed's Manifesto's Instagram account. And after seeing his uh, version of it, I YouTubed a uh, clothes hanger host store on YouTube and found a pretty good um, tutorial on how to do this. But you can see it's a pretty simple concept. You got a um, belt hook, you got your waistband loop, and you got your barrel um, plug, I guess for lack of a better term. And um, I decided after discovering this concept of the La Chata uh, host or the clothes hanger host um, that I wanted to try and see how well it worked, how I liked it. So I decided to um, um, use this exclusively for a while. Now there was one day that um, since I discovered how to use it or I discovered this that I didn't wear that host or, or gun um, and um, that was because I was in a um, situation where um, I was going to be moving around a lot. I was in a cornhole t tournament at the Torfgrass convention so I decided not to bring the gun. But anyways um, this is the first gun that I uh, carried with it. This is the Bond Arms Derringer, or it's unloaded. And uh, I, I learned two things through carrying this gun in this type of host store. And I had a smaller one made for this one. Um, that is that one, you don't have a lot of length with this gun. So you actually have, um, you know, well, you don't have a lot of length with this gun. So um, when I was leaning back, getting my hair washed at the hair salon, um, uh, somehow leaning back in that reclined chair kind of wiggled this up a little bit and then later on in the day uh, when I um, was walking around the gun actually started to fall out of my waistband and I had to catch it and luckily I caught it and luckily it was not in a very public place but that's not cool don't want that happening to me in a public area or anytime when I'm carrying a gun and I, I suspected it was reclining back and since I don't have a recliner um, at my house, I laid down in my bed for a little bit, and then I got up, and it kind of did the same thing. Something else I noticed, and I'm not 100% sure if this uh, was the case, but you have no leather on this holster style, so um, uh, your gun is being pressed up against your body. And it appears, I don't know if you can see that, but my trigger guard is loose. And I don't know if... Um, my b being pressed up against my body directly did that, but it should be easy to uh, fix. I should just have to tighten up that set screw, but that's kind of a bummer. And I kind of make this as a hit on Bond Arms Derringers. You know, if I want to buy a gun with a trigger guard, I want the trigger guard to stay on there. It's not like I'm going to be removing it and putting it back on. So just le either make it a fixed uh, trigger guard or don't uh, include the trigger guard. And they make models without the trigger guard. And if I would have wanted that, I would have got that. So, uh, it's loose. And that is irritating. Let's move on to the uh, Rigor SP-101. Um, this is what I've carried um, this week. Or, uh, I think it's Saturday through Wednesday, mostly. And um, I decided to put another 357 Magnum in my collection because it's my favorite caliber of all time. I want a 22 Magnum um, LCR, or I'll, I'll settle for, any, for a Taurus. But I really want the LCRX in a 3 inch barrel with the 357 Magnum. But they didn't have it. This was there. I went ahead and got this because uh, I have a lot of 357 Magnum ammo, and not a lot, but a decent amount. And uh, it's my favorite caliber, so I wanted another th 357 Magnum in the collection. But um, I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. I'm not going to put it on my body, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. You put the barrel plug, i.e., yeah, it's pretty obvious. You put that in the barrel. This loop uh, sits on your um, um, waistline or your um, um, waistband. And then this loop right here, or this hook, keeps you from drawing the holster. And I wore this very consistently. And uh, there was a time that I thought I was going to go into a 51% location. 
and uh, but it, it turned out it wasn't so I, it would have been a uh, it was kind of for nothing anyways um, I took this gun out went into the restaurant and then um, uh, I came back and I tried to put the gun back into my waistband you know kind of in the parking lot um, with the door open and I don't know I feel very uh, anxious when maneuvering my gun in public uh, it wasn't a fun thing to do and it was it just proved to be a little bit difficult to rehost or this in a public setting even though it was dark outside and uh, I was at the uh, truck so that was something that I noticed too it's not a very easy gun to rehost or it usually involves you taking your belt off or um, undoing your belt and maybe possibly your button uh, and fly and then re uh, situating it and then um, running the belt loop through the um, anti-draw hook and then fixing things back up. And that's something that I really noticed was that this was really difficult to reholster. Now, this gun did shift a little bit. Uh, not too much, but you can see that there's not a, a lot keeping this gun from doing that. Uh, the only thing that really keeps your gun in place is your belt and having your belt somewhat tight. All the um, but a barrel plug does is keeps keeps it at the right elevation, but over, and it does help with side to side. But really, your belt um, or against the gun against your body is what keeps it from migrating too much this way or that way. I did notice I felt the need to adjust a few times, but other than that, I thought it was a pretty cool thing. Um, can't remember if I showed you if that was unloaded or not, um, and it's very cheap. Uh, of course, quality is going to be up to you when you make it. Uh, so I can't review this and say, hey, this is a cool thing, and then you make it incorrectly, and then it turns out not to be a cool thing. But, um, you know, you can have different people who put different spins on this. Some people might put some electrical tape or duct tape on this area. Uh, some people might uh, put more duct tape here, you know, whatever. But it's very easy to make. you got to tailor it to your gun a little bit. Because uh, this one's way too long for the Bond Arms Derringer. And the gun sits too low in the uh, waistline. So it makes it very difficult to draw. So I had to have a smaller one for this one. Which I don't know where it's currently at at the moment. But it just turns out that this one was perfect for the Snubby Revival. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, I walked around. I shopped. I sat down and stuff. It didn't really give me too much trouble. Um... So, um, and like I said, again, there's no leather on either side of this. This is practically Mexican carry. Um, you know, i.e. the trigger guard is exposed. Uh, that's why I recommend this long double action. Um, or something that maybe has a safety if you are willing to carry something with a safety. Um, but, um, anyways, uh, it's, it's just a little bit scary for me without the trigger guard protection or trigger protection but with a long um, double action or a single action can't believe I just dropped that with the single action um, I you have to uh, pull the hammer back in order to shoot um, uh, I think it's a safe thing a safe thing I think you're not going to have any issues with it going off in your pants, but make sure that the uh, tr trigger is beneath your belt or waistline, because uh, if it's hanging, uh, if it's riding too high, you will have a chance of something snagging that through your shirt. So, um, anyways, to quote my brother, this is an ideal, not a great ideal. Um, you can do it for battlefield pickups if you have a new gun like from the gun show and you don't have a holster for it but you're super excited to carry it you can try this out uh, it's not going to replace a good purpose built um, factory holster or, or anything but if, if you want to um, be a little bit MacGyverish, although MacGyver wasn't a big fan of guns uh, this is a this works it does work and I'm pretty happy with it. It's very simple to make and um, somewhat simple to use. I, I would say reholstering is an issue. Um, and so that's it. That's the video. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.